How's it going, everyone? I'm retired here, and today is going to be an overview video of the Witchblade. All right, Witchblade um, is actually one of my really favorite classes to play. Uh, obviously, apart from Blade Master, um, for the reason being is that it encompasses Soldier, which is my second favorite class, and Occultist. Uh, although, as you can see in this build, I really do not take advantage of the full scale of uh, stat points for Soldier, which I should actually update. Um, the purpose of the, um, the video is just to show you um, the viability of the Witchblade. Now, there's really different kinds of builds that you can go through uh, with a Witchblade. You can go with a uh, pet hybrid. Basically, you would be going with your sum uh, Summoned Hellhound, a Familiar, and you would be going with a Dreeg's Eye, obviously with a maximum of Blood Dreeg, Blood of Dreeg, Aspect of the Guardian, Possession, um, so, so is Witchfire, Seagull of Consumption. Um, yeah, so you'll be concentrating more on your pet, but your Acid Poison damage will be uh, quite enormous. Um, I, it, it is really an Acidic Burst build that I uh, created here. Uh, now. Yes, although I'm not taking advantage of it, um, there are different kinds of builds. If you're going to go towards melee, obviously you want to have a full amount here. Uh, all depending on what kind of stats you're going for, if it's going to go for physical, uh, um, physical, or you're going to go for um, chaos damage, uh, the soldier can accommodate that, although not entirely um, towards elemental damage, although you can use Cadence and add three points into discord which will add 15 percent so on and so forth to elemental uh, converted to ele elemental damage now um that being said if you're gonna go melee it's best to go two hand uh, in my opinion um just because you would really need Minier's will um to get that uh, percent uh, that health back uh, as soon as you get lower and you would be taking obviously field command squad tactics decorated soldier uh, scars of battle as you can see i'm really missing out on uh, really some core skills to get resistances although with my current character i don't really need that like, we'll just go do some we'll just play around here while i talk um but with the way the character is built up at the moment it, it's really um i can get hit and uh, with no real issue uh per se. I'm gonna go like this, like this. As you can see, this is ultimate, man. Like, I, I'm, I was in here. Um, obviously, I had blood up. Look at that. Look at that damage. As blood of con the sigil, sigil of consumption is really, really important if you're gonna go Witchblade. Um, so you're gonna go blood like this. Look at that. These mobs are just getting melted away with their or poison acid, especially since uh, Curse of Frailty is up. You get your blood. Look at that. Is that it? Seriously, it's ridiculous, especially um, with the right amount of devotion points dedicated to what kind of build you're going for. Uh, that it'd be more of a physical related build. Um, uh, physical convert to elemental damage, which in this case I would say is mostly uh, chaos damage if you're gonna go with possession And it will go really well with these four skills here uh, Describe uh, doom bolt obviously uh, curse of frailty and vulnerability will be a must obviously especially for the minus 30% elemental resistance is um, It's really good poison acid resistance minus 30% vitality resistance. This is 15 on 10 by the way uh, your pets will do a quite amount, uh, quite a bit of damage as well. Um, but all considering, if I don't do anything with my pets, let's say I, I, I just get them in here. If I don't do anything, um, they're making damage, but I need to supplement that damage, obviously. See that? I really need to supplement that damage uh, with the poison acid. Um, this is if you're really going to be concentrating on. Um, the poison acid. There you go. Look at that. It is ridiculous. It's, the more mobs there are, the the more uh, amount of damage you're going to be doing with this build because you have you're going to be using bloody pogs. You're going to be using your curse of frailty. There 
you go. I mean, the mobs get in there. You're gaining back your health um, because of the amount of the amount of damage that you're doing, and it gets converted back to health. And we can, we'll do that again. Look at that. In here, here, here. And I can just get in there if I wanted to. I mean, no real problem whatsoever. Now, if you're gonna go melee, obviously, um, you're gonna go a bit tank here. Although you're gonna be doing good damage um, from experience playing a soldier, just just, just from my standpoint of view. Um, I mean, it tends to go down quite a bit. I see that summon pet right there. It, t it tends to go down quite a bit if you don't have a lot of um, different kinds of skills up. Yeah. I should definitely up this this character. Uh, but anyways, I mean, look at the the, the distribution, physique, 641, cunning, and my spirit. I put a lot into spirit because I want poison acid resistance. Obviously, I want to do more magical damage. I want the, that bonus duration and whatnot because I have my uh, bloody pox up like that. And that bloody pox does um, does uh, go on other mobs, as you can see. Look at that. Let's see how. Hey, how's it going? There you go. Oh, that was so easy. Yeah, that's pretty much that's pretty much how this build is. But yeah, how would you build your Witchblade, guys? I'm curious to know what you would uh, be putting as skills. What kind of devotion build would you go for? Uh, would be more uh, suited for melee type builds, uh, physical damage, uh, poison and acid damage, chaos uh, and vitality. Uh, Put them in your in the comment section. I, mean, I really want to, uh, to see you guys more active on the comment section and see what you would like to see maybe in the future videos as well for these kind of uh, um, uh, overview videos. You know, hey, I saw that Witchblade and I'd like to see such and such, and such build. Uh, I can most likely accommodate, you know, obviously there's the time issue, but uh, that's another thing entirely. So that's about it, guys. Uh, do make sure to like the video and don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.